Howdy y'all. Good morning. We made it down to my dad's place down in Longview, Texas yesterday to do some more work on the camper after leaving our test run in the National Forest. And we do have to say we were pretty impressed with the way this handled going down the forest roads. That was our biggest concern with low lying branches and it mm -hmm. killed it. It did a good job. And everything worked perfect on the camper. We haven't had any issues. So we did forget to list the breathable pads that we put under the bed. We forgot to list that in the description. So on this vlog, we're gonna have that under the description. It's from Amazon. Well, we got a lot to do today. We're gonna eat this cream of wheat and get started. Alrighty then, it's time to get started on doing some of these projects. First off is Kelly's really nice faucet. She's wanting to replace this faucet here with this one because it's a lot taller it's easier to be able to wash and the other thing we're noticing is it's hard to clean this sink out i don't know if you can see that but debris gets all in the corners and you have to use your hand and like throw water over there and it starts wasting water when this one you'll be able to just do that and move it around and you're good to go but first off down here i've got to disconnect and i've removed these walls already there was walls, some screws, I removed all that, but you gotta disconnect the hot and cold lines and uh, reconnect everything up, which should be fine. Make sure your water pump is turned off. And here we go. And there was all that. What's keeping the faucet in place is that wing nut up there. Lefty loosey righty tighty, right y'all? Okay, y'all missed this, but I just had to back those screws off. And this should just pull straight up. <gasps> oh! That looks pretty good, especially compared to this lower height one way down here. You get that much more height. And you can actually move this one out of the way. Well, I need to tighten it. So let's tighten it. So far, we have the faucet installed. Now underneath it's not completely installed because we have to install the water filtration faucet. So we had to drill a hole. So Cody's done that here. We don't want to waste the water filtration system filtering water just to rinse our hands with. And this is the same water filtration system that we had on the trailer that we carried around. We got the water filtration set in right there and we had that line that's the line going right up to the back side of the water faucet right there we're going to call it the filtered water faucet we finally got everything hooked up this is the hot and cold line we have our elbow here that we picked up from home depot that's just for the hot water line then we've got our splice here for our cold going in here we got plumber's tape basically at every connection to make sure it doesn't leak and one goes directly to the water faucet the other one goes to the water filtration system right there the hose runs up to the top then this thing has a weight to it right there so that kelly can use the faucet and i had to make sure whenever she pulls up on it it doesn't hit any of these cables go ahead and test it out okay go down try it again looks good all right honey turn on the water pump and let's see what she does okay kill it because i got a leak yeah go ahead i tighten it up a little bit and all the lines have no leak now there's a lot going on under here but it looks great you want to see it work here we go look at that do your little, do your little thing even bam Clean out the corners, turn it off, and you got your water over here. Isn't that just handier than pockets on a shirt? Heck yeah. It's the moment I've been personally waiting for. Finally gonna get this cabinet here. I don't know if I'm putting seasonings there or cups, I'm not really sure. And the way it's gonna operate is it's gonna pivot up like that. We'll get some pistons for it in the future to hold oh, it up, but we couldn't find, any. they didn't have any pistons in stock. Where you that at? We could probably, find some online or maybe order I'm, I know I've seen stuff like that. I mean, those toolboxes have them. You know, like the big toolboxes have those I wonder if pistons. my dad could just order them and they'll be there next day. Did he act like he'd heard of them? Or? Oh yeah, he had some in a shop that sold them to somebody. Yeah, That's how it always works. Work, like yeah. literally oh. last week. People new to the channel, this is my pops, Haley 05. He's a cool cat. <laughs> <laughs> when he I'm sleeping. When you're sleeping. When I'm sleeping, I'm cool. Oh, do you know what order I want to use? Yeah, we know. Yeah. 
Okay, well, we're, we're gonna do a test with this one. Yeah, yeah. But we're using that one. Are they the same? Yeah, yeah exactly. Like oh, same okay, cool. So, which door do you want to use? The one that's not chewed up, I guess. <laughs> I thought they were different. I guess because it's wrapped up, it looks different. We don't have the tools to make a joist right there. So, we're just gonna use some uh, hinges on the back. And we cut this down because this wood came right out within the track, and we're just gonna 45, shrink it down cut this piece down and put it back inside that track. Is it gonna work? Mm -mm. It's too small. Yeah, I mean, to make the frame right. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute. I'm, I'm gonna take it right, hang on. We'll get back with you. We are able to make a tester. We got it down just like we wanted to. Looks pretty good, I think. Hey, Leo5, you did a good job, man. Hey, I tried, thank you. So now we're cutting down the good one and making the real door this time. So it's taken us a while, it's dark now, but we had some issues and we ate dinner too. But there it is, look at that. How many inches do you think we took off, Paul? Uh, probably three or four on each side. That looks good. Good job. I think we're going to call it for tonight, and we'll catch y'all in the morning. Good afternoon, everybody. It's the next day, and we went ahead and finished out the cabinet because it was pouring down raining, and we were working under just that little area with my dad. But this is the final product. Kelly's going to come back, and we're going to take this off and paint it, but... Worked out nice. We're gonna get a little piston hinge right there to hold it up, just like that. Now, the other day I started recording me installing this rear camera, and I didn't really know what I was recording. So I'll throw the clips of me starting that right now. So the camera that we were getting is the one that already has a base and wiring harness hooked up on the back of the camper. It's a Furion brand, and this is the camera that's gonna go right in place here. Wire that's in the back here just adds power to this. It's not gonna be wired all the way up to the truck. Right here, there'll be an antenna, which I'll show you in a little bit. It's gonna send a wireless signal up to the front of the truck. What's neat about this unit, which is a brand new unit that's out on the market, we haven't seen anybody talk about it, haven't seen any product reviews or anything, so we'll probably be the first to get to talk about the product review. But the cool thing about this wireless unit is that it will go to the display in our vehicle instead of having to add an extra monitor to this screen. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Let's install this real quick. All right, here comes the fun part, holding on to these little screws. EA. And this comes off just like that. And then we'll hook up this cable to that right there. There we go. And then you can adjust the pitch of your camera, which we'll do later. I'm just going to kind of play with it just for a second by loosening those screws on either side. There you have it. So once I got the camera installed, a little wire in the back, I had to attach this antenna here. And that will send a signal to the front. That's where we got to go now. I already got this popped off, but this is the first thing you have to pop off here to get to this. So I got this little plastic lever. Thank you, Nick, Kelly's dad, for letting me have this. You just bam, take this off, which just has plastic tabs holding it in. And then back here, you get yourself two bolts. And I think those two little nuts up here are seven millimeters. So you just take these out. Now it's better to have one of these plastic levers because what will end up happening is if you try using a screwdriver or something, you could put scratches all on your plastic. So it's pretty wise to use this. And I kind of wish, oh, I had two now that I'm thinking about it. Just like that. We have ourselves the speaker connector that we need to take off. Easy squeezy, lemon peasy. But once I've gotten this top part off here, I have access to what I'm replacing which is on the back right there. We just lift this lever up here, like so. Okay, I gotta have both hands, but what you do is it has a lever like this. You push down on this little tab right here, and you swing that back. I got that unhooked. That's gonna plug into here, bam. 
And then this part will plug back into the back of the radio. So we're adding more mechanisms to it is basically what it's doing is having more components like this little switch, this little yellow wire and the receiver. And then it'll look like that. Oh, that's all the new wiring right there. So fast forward back to now, we are on the final part of trying to put this camera in, which is this relay box right here, connecting it up to the battery. And we're gonna run that through the firewall, which is coming through the firewall right here. And of course we got the full face off, everything that I hooked up the other day on the back side of the monitor. And dad needs black wire. Paul, I don't know if we got any black wire. We got a whole roll of it. Hmm. Not seeing this black wire. Oh, it's up here on the dash. It's always the last place you look. Now this little relay box has a fuse in it. We're connecting it up to the battery. We're gonna have a ground to it as well. Okay, uh, need those loop connectors we bought. Okay, loop connectors. I don't think you bought any loop connectors. You bought this. I bought some loop connectors too. You did? All right. So we found out we're gonna need a part, so we have to go back to the part store. But in the meantime, we're gonna finish working on everything in here. Now this here is the wireless antenna that's gonna send a signal or receive a signal from the back of the truck and it's gonna go down inside of here. We hope we hope it goes down inside of there. You ready to continue? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. 14. Okay, attach the black wire comes from the ground to the yellow wire, red wire comes into the truck, connect to the red wire from the wireless receiver. And the red wire from the video switcher assembly. Black wire from the switcher assembly. Yeah, it's it's blue. It's right here. Huh? I'll it's get blue. it to you. Yeah, it's got a blue cap on the end of it. We got to connect this to a suitable ground. Yeah, so we have to have another D-ring connector. Or a, a loop connector. Okay. And that should be it. What's all this go to? This all goes to this. Oh, okay. So we had to make another run to the store again. <laughs> what else is new? Man, we've made like... Every day we've made at least three or four runs to the store. And that's what I like being up at my dad's is it's such a short drive to Ace's Hardware and it's such a short drive to Home Depot. So, I planned it all that way too. I, I moved here just, just for that fact. So he'd have easy access to Ace Hardware and Home Depot. Yep. Ring connectors. Had to spend $4 of gas to get a 79 cent part. I know you've all done it before though. Oh, golly, that thing, they don't, that's burglar proof. You need a knife? Okay. Dead gum. Man, look at that. Holy smokes. Okay. All right, there we go. Thank Hopefully you. this will work. Hopefully this will work. Okay. All right. Let's do something here, even if it's not right. Our camera was not working. And the reason why is that this was not having any power to it because of the original connector. So we had to take off the connectors they had, reconnect this, and now it has power to it. We've already tested it. We did have an image on the monitor up front. But now we have to put all this back together and put it back down in there. Just one of those days. One of those days. Beautiful day though. Quit raining. A few hours later, after trying to get everything wired properly, we have a rear view camera. Check this bad boy out. Right there. I see it pulsing on the GoPro. It just, it's not pulsing in real life. Uh, I guess that's just how the camera's picking it up. It is a smooth picture. It looks really nice though. Finally can see behind me. So everything fit in back here in the antenna that's receiving the signal is behind here as well. And it all worked. Let's go on to our next task. Good evening, everybody. So I wanted to show you this lovely cabinet. I don't know if we showed you the finishing touches. We are going to paint it. I think I'm going to do chalk paint and do like an accent color. And this is kind of what I got going on here. Now, whether or not that will stay as we're driving, time will tell. But I can put more stuff there and it's freed up this cabinet. So I have a lot of extra room here because we are not stocked fully with groceries. Once we get on the road, we will have to buy groceries to cook with. So very exciting. The next project is this carpet here. We have decided we wanted to remove this carpet. Now you ask why? Because today it was rainy. All it's doing is taking in water, dirt, mud, because you know, that's where our shoes are right when we step in. So we've decided we're going to remove that and cut a piece of, I don't even know what this wood is. I'll show you what it is. It's the same wood on the trailer that we made my um, butcher block with. But there's also another reason why we want to replace the carpet. Because we're going to use it for storage. And look at all this storage right next to the water tank. That big empty cavity. So this is the water tank. 
We'll make sure it doesn't touch the water tank for storage because if we do have something kind of hard, it might rub a hole through the water tank. So we'll just make sure that everything we store in the spot don't, won't touch it. Also, more than likely, one of the main things we are gonna put under there are the paddles for the kayaks. They're plastic against plastic, won't be such a big deal. We told you we'd find a way to store all of our, all of our things, so we will. Sorry, I've been MIA. I haven't really been of any help. Oh, I have a ton of help, Jane. Princess, you cook all the time. This is my <laughs> time to shine. <laughs> well, I've definitely spent all afternoon organizing this. They finished the door this morning, so that was that was kind of my deal. But I'm gonna get out of here so they have plenty of room to work. So we've taken out the two walls here, and the block that we're looking at is this husky hard hardwood tool cabinet top. I think they're only thirty dollars a piece at the Home Depot and we'll just cut that down. We got two of them and it's pretty thick, but we'll make it where we can slide that up and down. So Haleo 5, he went above and beyond. Ignore Kelly's shoes. We can move them, look, we can make it look but nice. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Pretty, yeah. I was like I knew what we were doing. So we're gonna, I guess we're gonna put some holes so I can just grab it, lift it, and then when we get up to a certain point, I can leave it up at a certain point, but if I need to fully remove it, he left this sliding block short so that we can actually lift it and twist it out because it hits right right there if we don't do that. Yeah. Man, that looks really yeah. good. It looks almost like uptown high rent. Thanks. Oh no, it is uptown high rent. <laughs> what do you think, Angel Princess? I'm happy. Yeah, with she's it. happy. Looks good. I like that. Let's button this project up going to the next, as yeah. you say. Good, beautiful day, everybody. We finally have a really cool day today here in Longview, Texas. And today we are going to be doing other things. Cody and my dad built this box here for extra storage. Today, Cody and his dad are gonna do the same thing over here on this side. It's not gonna be able to be as big because we have the drain here for the gray water, but it is gonna be extra storage. So that's their task for today. I was gonna show you this in the daylight. They finished this here. Previously, that was carpet, and it also lifts up for storage. Now, I might paint those as well because the wood color is a little off compared to everything else in the camper. But today, I'm going to be painting the cabinet door. While the guys are out there working, I've painted the cabinet door. I'm gonna show you that. But first, I wanted to let everybody know that we have long sleeve bear tees back in stock. I'm counting them right now. And as soon as you watch this video, they will be up on the website. That's www.domelife. Dot camp C A M P and they will be listed on the website. We've got sizes small to three X. Now out here, they're getting a lot accomplished. So far, this is what it looks like. It's gonna sit in there like so. Also, this bad boy, we'll watch out for this drain. We we're test fitting all this drain to see if I can still access it and put the hose on. And we'll put it in just like that. And then we'll just fill out this side. We're not gonna come all the way down here with plywood. We'll just go up here. And then you have a little foot here and all that. I think it looks good. Yeah, I think it is. How's your door look? I haven't looked at it yet. It's uh, drying. I've already done two coats to it. To finish it off, I'll have to put like a wax. I guess it's a coating, protective coating. So I'm just gonna be honest i'm not really excited about this color it's not really what i was going for but you know how it is when you're buying paint it's never the color that you think it is i did use chalk paint i went with the uh magnolia home by joanna Gaines. the color was wedding band now i wanted kind of a grayish slate blue a little bit to kind of match some of the colors in the camper but this is this is nothing like that this is what we have here it's supposed to be like a gray color, but it turned out to me looking more green tinted. Um, it'll do for now. If I don't like it in the future, I can just repaint it. Probably that color that I was talking about. It might look better if I tilt it up like that. But who knows? It might grow on us and we might like it. Cody says he's okay with it. You know, I'm just, I'm kind of like, if I have to look at it every day, I want it to be perfect, but I can just always repaint it in the future if I decide to. So last thing I need to do on it is this right here. 
seals, protects, and finishes. So I need to put that on. You can put it on with a cl uh, clean towel that doesn't have like lint or anything that comes off of it. You can just rub it on. And then I'm not sure on the drying time I can look on that. It's a clear wax. Anyway, that's all I have left to do. Um, gotta put the shirts on the website and we'll see you back in a little bit. We just installed the door and it looks so much better hanging up. I think that we might save that color. I think it looks good. And they're still working on the box, by the way. I think they're, they've got it in and they're gonna put caulk around it and then Cody's going to paint it. So we are almost done. We're done. Well, I'm not done. I still have to paint the box, but every job besides painting the box on this camper that we wanted to do is done. Here it is. We got a lot of caulking on it right now, letting it dry, but it's got a little lip there. We can store a little stuff there, a little up here and still have full access to the sewer line. Look how much room we still have right there. It goes all the way back to here, so you got plenty of room. We had a little leftover wood from this project earlier, right there. And guess what we did for Kelly? I'm just in here admiring this cutting board. So this was made out of the same material my old butcher block cutting board was made out of but they made, made feet to attach to it so it will fit perfectly into the cooking grate and that way when we're driving, it doesn't fall off. It's the exact size as the cooking grate and this is what we had left over. We routered the edges and bam, put some little rubber stops on it so it doesn't shake on this, but these feet fit perfectly here and back there. Is that not nice? <laughs> I love it. So it yay. actually brightens up the area as well. Yeah, but well, that's all we have for you today. And we'll catch you on the other. See you on the road.